Hi, this is Sean from Mind Possible, and this might be one of the more important videos I make for my telekinesis series. And I hope it's helpful for not only telekinesis practitioners, but also open minded skeptics and also non believers, because this will give us a little bit more data to work with with what I'm about to show you. So, one big criticism about this work is that people say it's a temperature shift inside the case that creates a wind movement which moves the tinfoil which doesn't weigh very much at all and because it's balanced on the head of a pin or on the tip of a pin there's no uh, friction there so that's true there's very little friction because this is really difficult to do but I don't think it's about wind movement or temperature fluctuation and what this experiment is about which I'm about to show you is that perhaps it is about bodily energy mixed with the intention of the mind and if you've watched my other videos that show you how to do this or if you've done my training system you know that there's a breathing technique that I teach and so what I'll indicate here during this example is I'm gonna have my hands first on the glass and then I'll move my hands off the glass but either way I'm gonna stick out my index finger to indicate I'm breathing in and then I'll move my middle finger like this to indicate that I'm holding my breath and then I'll use my ring finger to indicate that I'm exhaling and we'll see if there's a correlation, even slightly, between when I'm uh, at a certain phase of my breath and if there's a change in direction or a stop in movement of the object. So we'll see, because I think if it was really just about temperature fluctuation or wind movement, it'd be more random or just unidirectionally. So if there's a relationship between my breathing and my intention and how the object moves, I think that indicates that there's something else at play here. So let's see, now with my hands on the glass, yeah, it could be warming up the air inside. But once I take my hands off and the relationship still continues, I think that's where the questions really come up. So I hope you enjoy and I hope this gives us a lot more information to work with. Okay, just one more comment before I get started with the demo. Practicing telekinesis is a lot like painting with watercolors. We can believe that we have a lot of control, but we actually don't. It's hard to stay within the lines. And what I mean here is that even though I might do this to indicate that I'm breathing in and that the object will move a certain way and maybe I'll go like this to indicate I'm holding my breath and maybe it'll move more or hold still, um, there might be a drifting effect or it might not move as soon as my breathing changes. It might move on its own with slightly different timing. First I'm going to use the hand signals with my hands on the glass. This will be more effective than hands off the glass. So breathing in. Holding. Exhale. Just breathing normally. And breathe in again. Hold. Exhale. And I'm breathing normally. So I'm going to take my hands off the glass. Breathing in. Hold. Exhale. Breathing in. Just gonna take a few normal breaths. Okay, breathing in. Hold.
exhale. Breathing in. Hold. Exhale. Breathing in. Hold. Exhale. Just gonna take a few normal breaths here. Okay, in breath. Hold. Exhale. 